Hmm. I can smell smoke. Not sure where it's coming from, but uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll uh, see something somewhere. I'm just having a bit of a gander around to see if there's any pillars of smoke, but I can't see nothing to say the least. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnots. We are back at it again for another episode. It is a somewhat cloudy Monday morning and we are about to get on to work and it is actually quite quiet this morning. I dare say it's because of the Melbourne Cup tomorrow which is the uh, long weekend by the looks because uh, where I'm parked up there's usually a lot more cars parked up where we usually are but uh, there's next to nobody here but that's all right we don't mind probably means there's going to be a lot less cars on the road one is hoping but either way guys we're going to get this day started without any further blabbering on so without further ado let's get this day started so without a second thought let's go oh, we didn't see any fires to and from work which is a good thing it was one of those fires that smelled very off, like there was more to it than just wood, grass and leaves and other little bits and pieces that you'd usually see in fires, but uh, uh, it looked like there was quite a few fires around um, in between here and lawn, so uh, it looks like there's been a few people, as you'd say, um, burning off their crap. The main thing is, as long as there's no house fires around, Anywhere around here, that is the main damn thing. I think there was uh, there was two house fires in the back of Smarts in the last uh, last week or so. There was one just up around the corner from us, and we drive past one down uh, Gisborne Road when we go to work. There was a nice little house that was there. It uh, unfortunately got burnt to the ground, but uh, one of those ones that I wanted to, as you would say, explore. But because it's a burnt out house. It's not really much point. Speak of fires, there's one right there. Not sure where it is or what it is, but uh, that does not look normal. That looks very smoky indeed. I don't know. I just had a look at the Vic Emergency Air app and it has not said a thing about what that is. It's probably just someone's backyard or something that's uh, trying to burn some stuff, but uh, yeah. I'll have to keep an eye on it. So we didn't get any alerts or any pings off the Vic emergency last night to state uh, if there was any houses or anything on fire, which is good. And it must have just been someone in the backyard burning some uh, some shit off last night. I have seen a few around today, especially um, going in and out of uh, town. Uh, there was a few places that were burning off some stuff here in the backyard. Not only that, today is one of those days that I couldn't give two stinks about. I'll explain that in just a moment, simply because it's time for us to get on home. We are, uh, as you'd say, stuffed, tired, guts is burning, so we need to go and get our belly pills and uh, try and stop this inferno of a stomach to uh, stop burning because. Uh, uh, nothing more infuriating than a gut burning like hell. Where did I put that? Ah, oh, there we go. That's one of the two things that we need. The other thing I need is ah, uh, yes, right there. Hay fever tablets, gut and hay fever. Heck, yeah. Bloody awesome. About yeah, bloody time we found those things. Because uh, tell you what, we were very much engulfed with that bloody pain in the belly. And not only that, with well, a bloody hay fever as well. Ugh. You know when you get your eyes are constantly burning <clears throat> uh, due to like pollen and all the other BS that usually happens? That's what's been happening with me the last few days. <clears throat> I bought two of these uh, about, about, about two, three weeks ago. No, it would have been about three weeks ago. <clears throat> and I have no idea where the frig I have put them. 
So that's why I bought another two boxes so that we can at least, as you would say, get the, our hay fever under control. And the thing that I was telling you guys about before, about what makes today one of those days that I don't give two stiffs about, it is Tuesday the 5th of November. And that means it's Melbourne Cup Day. The one day of the year that I could not give two stiffs about because of a very simple reason. It's where people spend millions of dollars on a five minute race to potentially lose five dollars, anywhere between five dollars to potentially fifty grand, million dollars on placing bets on horses, which I find ridiculous. I couldn't find a more ridiculous thing to spend money on than placing bets on car racing, football, cricket, um, horse racing, you name it. But don't get me wrong, with, uh, with that thing right there, uh, micro charges for a video game, so I can't really talk much about uh, spending on mo money on ridiculous things. Oh, another race day over and done with. Not like we uh, sat down and watched or anything like that. But uh, another one that we don't have to worry about for another 365 days. Not like we're going to care about the next one either. Like I said, guys, I really don't understand how people can spend thousands of dollars on outfits to look snazzy, whatever, and spend another, f like, anywhere between 500 bucks to, you know, 10, 15, 30, 100,000 dollars on bets for, uh, for horses. Waste of time, waste of bloody money. Should be doing something more productive with, uh, one's time and one's money. Like I can, like I can talk. <laughs> you know, upgrading bloody PlayStation 5 memories and, you know, buying little gas heaters that are shit. And everything else in between but uh, you know those things can be used for long-term purposes like if uh, gas and electricity goes out you got to still got a little heater but anyway guys I'm blabbing on too much about it I'm moving on from today's little shenanigans one thing I do like about today uh, days like today it's a public holiday for starters secondly if I'm working the public holidays oh, good money good bloody money you know, even if it's uh, even if it's for five hours, it's still bloody good money. That's still ten hours, a uh, ten-hour pay uh, for five hours. Uh, that's a bonus about today. Woo wee! It is thirty to six degrees, sir. Son of Celsius in the car at the moment. I can't even speak because it's that damn hot at the moment. Whew. Got the windows down. Windows are, as you can tell, down. Tell you what though, that, uh, that thing right there, the sunshade, has made a massive difference uh, being in the car. It still would have been 37 degrees, but that has taken a lot of the grunt, a lot of the heat away from the uh, inside of the car. Yeah, today is the first day that it is relatively warm. 30 degrees or 33 is what it's supposed to be but uh, right now it's about 30 so I reckon about 2 o'clock it's starting to go, start getting a bit warmer than what it is but I can tell you right now <laughs> I'm not liking it. All I can say is I'm glad for one thing and you guys can probably hear it. The air conditioning. All I can say is I'm friggin grateful the air conditioning to be uh, as good as what it is because I tell you what without the AC I would be friggin cooked like a damn fish in a tin foil sock in an oven but either way I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too hot tonight like it was last night because I tell you what we didn't sleep very well last night due to the uh, warmer temperatures as it were was the thing about 16 degrees C uh, to say the least but uh, eh, there's not much we can do about it but as you guys can probably tell we are currently at the uh, car wash at the moment 
thought we might as well get the car cleaned up because uh, it's been a hot minute since we've done so, so may as well get it over and done with. <laughs> oh my goodness, I almost had an intrusive thought come true, guys. You know when you sometimes watch funny videos on, uh, on TikTok or on uh, YouTube, whatever it is, and some uh, there's a couple in the uh, drive-through car wash like this, you know, and you see someone sitting here, and then the partner's opening up the bloody window, like, all the way down. <laughs> the person's getting sprayed in the face. I was <laughs> this close to doing it to myself. I don't, I wonder what it's like to get whacked in the face with one of these fucking things. And I thought, you know what, nah, I'm, I'm not going to risk that. It's too dangerous. Tell hey, you what, the car looks a lot better than what it was. I just need to clean the inside of it now, but uh, that'll be another time, another job everything else in between but for now we aren't going to sit in there with the windows closed and the fan on because even sitting right here it is bloody warm I can tell you even with a bit of breeze that's around I don't I'm not going to sit out here without a doubt and I'll quickly run back inside and uh, stay nice and cozy there you have it guys it is currently 33 degrees outside and uh, it's going to be top of 33 so by about 5 it's going to start cooling down but it is about 2 o'clock so yeah tomorrow it's going to be 23 with some scattered showers I can tell you right now 23 degrees is a lot better than 33 I would be more than happy to live in 23 degree weather without the rain of course or the wind. Now that we've had our little bit of a bitch and whinge about a certain thing and other things, weather and Melbourne Cup, and everything else in between, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to quickly go back inside and uh, sit in front of the fan because we have well and truly need to be cooling down because we are pretty darn hot at the moment. So yeah, we're going to go inside and enjoy the nice cool dark room as it were so in saying that guys i will see you guys in the next video i just want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this video as always and uh, everything else in between and i will see you guys in the next video just remember to get out there stay happy stay positive and everything else in between but until the next video guys keep it easy